Tata is a rapidly expanding car maker from India that 30 years ago became the first manufacturer to deliver a competitive indigenous automobile. The overwhelming majority of Tatas are sold domestically, but nowadays the company's name is familiar to both local and international buyers. Especially that fact that the British premium car maker Jaguar Land Rover is currently owned by them. In this video, we would like to review Tata's latest newcomers as well as interesting offerings in the 2019 lineup. Subscribe to Automotive Terror 2 Daily News to get notifications about the new episodes. And let's start the engines. Tata Harrier This is an all new compact SUV by Tata that is expected to set the benchmark for the class with its new Omega Arc platform based on the Land Rover's D8 architecture. The model has stylish design with chrome accents, Xenon HAD projector headlamps, and 3D LED taillights. The insides of the Harrier scream luxury, with its leather upholstery, oak wood dashboard and door accents, leather wrapped steering wheel, and a premium 8.8 inch infotainment system. The SUV is powered by the Cryotech 2.0 liter turbocharged diesel, delivering 138 horsepower and 350 Nm of max output. It also comes with a front wheel drive and a six speed manual transmission as an only option. However, an automatic transmission and an all wheel drive are expected to be introduced later in 2019. Thanks for being with us today. If you're wondering what 2019 models are offered by other manufacturers from Japan, Europe and the US, make sure to visit our full playlist. The link is in the description. Let's continue. Tata Tiago Energy The manufacturer describes this hatchback as a tough rotor which is marketed to those drivers who enjoy Tiago's humble size and fuel economy, but at the same time require additional features to tackle roads with poor paving. It is powered by the same engine choices as the base Tiago, a 1.2-liter Revatron petrol and a 1.05-liter Revatron diesel, but it also gets intelligent electric power system steering system that makes driving easy on all kinds of terrain. The ground clearance was increased to 180 mm and the car was armored on both front and rear ends. The interior design became more practical as well, being enhanced with intelligent utility spaces and the 3D navigation maps are now displayed on the infotainment screen. Tata Nexon This was Tata's first attempt to step into the field of subcompact crossovers under 4 meters long, and right from the start it became a hit. Some of the reasons include beautiful coupe-inspired shape, outstanding safety ratings, comfortable dimensions, and the price which undercut segments liters. The Mini CUV is equipped with either a 1.2-liter turbo petrol mill or a 1.5-liter turbo diesel with equal 110 horsepower output. Both 6-speed manual and automatic trainees are available. The optional infotainment is represented by the next-generation floating dash top 6.5-inch screen with Android Auto compatibility. Since September 2018, the Nexon is sold in limited Crass and Crass Plus variants, which offer bright exterior colors and interior revisions. Tata e-Vision India is among those countries that will greatly benefit from electric transport, so domestic automakers like Tata are steadily preparing for the transition. The e-Vision sedan is the proclamation of the future Impact Design 2.0 philosophy that will be reflected both on the outside and the inside of the vehicles. This all-electric car is built on the Omega or Optimal Modular Efficient Global Advanced Architecture and possesses premium looks and features. The technical specifications are rather vague, but we should expect 0 to 100 acceleration under 7 seconds and 450 km driving range, with both AC and DC charging availability. It is also worth noting that eVision will have diesel and petrol engine options as less pricey alternatives.
Tata Exa. This is Tata's flagship SUV that was introduced in the 2017 production year and has since become one of the company's best-selling models. The mid-sized Exa is a classic SUV as it is built on the area platform featuring body-on-frame chassis. It is available in four trim levels, with the top one equipped with a 10-speaker JBL audio, Connect Next infotainment by Harman, cruise control, and a reverse parking sensor with a camera. Currently, Exa comes with three gearbox choices, rear or all-wheel drive, and one engine option, a 2.2-liter Varicar diesel that outputs 150 or 156 horses. In 2019, however, the automobile is rumored to get a new 2.0-liter four-cylinder cryotech diesel delivering 140 horses and 350 newton-meters of torque. Tata Tigor For 2019, Tata Tigor sedan gets an exterior facelift along with some interior changes. The new diamond-shaped grille and chrome accents to the headlamps make the already stylish design look fresh and elegant. The car's drivetrain remains the same, allowing one to choose between the 1.2-liter Revatron petrol that delivers 84 horsepower and 114 Nm of torque and the 1.05-liter Revatorque diesel with 69 horses and 140 newton meters. While the latter one comes only with a 5-speed manual, the petrol engine offers an automatic as an option. The interior features new leatherette upholstery and chrome accents. In addition, a newly introduced XC Plus luxury trim houses a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment and premium sound system by Harman. Tata Yota. Consumers all over the world agree that pickup trucks are ideal vehicles for both commercial and personal transportation use. In Tata's lineup, this body type is represented by Yota Pickup. This versatile and off-road capable vehicle sits on a 4mm chassis frame and has 210mm of ground clearance and up to 55% gradeability when fully loaded. The truck is powered by a 3.0-liter four-cylinder engine that delivers 85 horses and 250 newton meters of torque and pushes Yota to its maximum speed of 80 km per hour. It is available in five modifications and two cab options, featuring a 4x2 or 4x4 drive system and a maximum payload of 1500 kilos. Tata Tiago This compact hatchback is among Tata's latest additions to the lineup, so it feels fresh, technologically savvy, and very much appealing both exterior and interior-wise. You will easily recognize its exterior by the signature grille, sharp projector headlamps, glossy black roof with a tiny spoiler, and alloy wheels. The model is available with two engine options, a 1.2-liter three-cylinder petrol and a 1.05-liter three-cylinder diesel which output 85 and 70 horses respectively, with the torque rated at 114 and 140 newton meters. While the petrol option has both manual and automatic 5-speed transmission choices, the diesel variant offers only the stick. The tech features include, but not limited to, the Connect Next 7-inch touchscreen system by Harman with Android connectivity, dual airbags, rear parking sensors, ABS with EBD, and automatic temperature control. Tata JTP Tagore and Tiago JT Special Vehicles is a performance brand formed by Tata Motors and JM Automotives. The goal of this venture is to bring back the joy of motoring, and the efforts of the automakers will be focused on three aspects – sporty exterior and interior design, enhanced engine output and performance, 
and of course improve driving dynamics. The first Tata cars to go through the makeover were Tiago and Tagore. They received boosted engines, 1.2 liter three cylinders with 114 horsepower and 150 newton meters of torque, as well as sporty designs. What do you think about these cars from the India's domestic company? Can they compete with the imported models from Japanese, European and American brands? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Consider visiting the playlist about 2019 models from other manufacturers all over the world. And subscribe to Automotive Territory to get notifications about the new videos. We'll see you soon!